week, man, if you were up there preaching, so to speak? Um, I think, you know, after obviously the game that we had down in Eugene, um, it was easy for a lot of people on the team to get down, but um, being that it's a 12-team playoff and it's a it's a long, long season, and uh, you know the top two teams in the Big Ten go to the go to the Big Ten championship. So um, obviously it, it sucks to drop one like that on the road, big game, top five matchup. But um, we have we have bigger goals than just winning a game on the road. We have we have goals for the entire season. So um, our, our plan is to make a, a huge run. We're on a we have a you know games that we have to take uh, care of coming up. And hopefully we're able to see them again. Is it when reality hits you that this is a 12-team playoff now? It's a, you know what I mean that uh, almost everybody's made a mistake so far this year. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would say it's, it's definitely different, and uh, you know, just going through the ebbs and flows of of change um, is something that we have to be accustomed to. But um, you know, we're we're ready to you know combat every adversity that comes our way. Okay, you guys called the first off week an improvement week. What did this one feel like? Um, we were able to kind of get our feet under 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 us. Um, I would say that it definitely sucked after after a loss going into a bye week like that. Um, you feel like you could have done more in the weeks leading up to maybe get a win down in Eugene, but um, we were able to kind of get away from the game, which is what you need sometimes, um, and come back even stronger. We just had a great two days of practice. Got to put another one in tomorrow and be ready for Nebraska at noon. I think Will was saying that he was almost happy that if you were to lose the game happen now versus the end of the season, when you lose, nothing gets stuck or anything road. You have to evaluate everything. Would you kind of agree with that? Like, what was your way to kind of spin it and try to say, hey, we can build off of this instead of this? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you look over the course of, you know, college football history, and there's been very few undefeated teams um, throughout the entire season. So I think, you know, losing is something that sucks, especially as, you know, high-level competitors like us. But I think... It kind of will will hit it right on the nose. You have to, you know, see the impurities of your team and be able to push those out and grind because Coach Day says it like this. He says the the issues are always there. They're just brought to the surface sometimes in hard moments. So if we would have got a win down there by, you know, three touchdowns, we might we might, uh, you know, not have not have nitpicked as much of the things that we're doing now. So. Second. Um, I think we just, you know, we got to play smart and we got to take care of the ball. I think in matchup games like that, when you're facing a top uh, top five team, turnovers are, you know, some of the most important things. And uh, they ended up getting more than us that day. We got to run the ball better. Um, we got to block better on the perimeter. We got to make those plays when, we're, when our number's called. I met the 2014 title team to get on our Saturday. It was 10 years ago. Do you have any memories of watching them? Um, yeah, I, I definitely do. Um, I was, uh, being from the West Coast, being from Washington, I was a big, uh, you know, I was a big Oregon fan, especially when they had that run with like Mariota and all those guys. So um, the Buckeyes were definitely a team that was always on my radar. Uh, just watching them growing up, I was never really a fan of Ohio State, but um, you know, I definitely remember those days with Zeke Elliott and all that. When they beat Oregon, what do you remember about the game? Or, or... Um, I honestly don't remember too much about the game, but um, I just, you know, we we watch a lot of their film now. Like a lot of clips come up because you don't get a team that that special, you know, every every year. So we're always watching clips about them. You know, Zeke Elliott was a guy who was a, a big time leader and a big time player on our team, but he was also, you know, running down on kickoff and, and blocking his tail off. So just having that mindset um, and taking it in for every player. Yeah, Coach Day showing it to the whole team, special teams meetings, all that type of stuff. I get the DBs really had been beaten downfield this season until the Oregon game. What have you seen from their response maybe this week in practice? I think, uh, you know, there's two different responses that you can get. You can get down in the dumps or you can use it as motivation. Um, and I've definitely seen the second with our DBs. Um, they kind of took, took it personally, and they're looking to do some amazing things down this last uh, back half of the season. And Denzel specifically is a really confident guy. We see that when we talk to him. How has he responded for having maybe one of his more tough teams? Yeah, I mean uh, Denzel. He just had a great week of practice. He just got the, uh, you know, we every after every practice uh, we lay down a brick um, because of that day of work that we put in. And Denzel was the one who was able to lay that brick today. Um, just he had a great week of practice, just being able to bounce back. Um, and I know his confidence level um, in himself and our confidence level in him is is through the roof. So um, he's going to go out there and ball Saturday. Mech, when you win, there's outside noise. When you lose, there's a different kind of outside noise. How do you just block all that out and kind of help your guys block it out too? Yeah, I think uh, that's something that you have to, you know, learn in your experience here at Ohio State. I think for freshmen, it's definitely a learning curve. Me being here and being a senior, I try to give my advice on those topics. I think, 
that um, kind of like you're saying, the noise comes from both sides, positive and negative. I think both of them are dangerous. Um, you can get too down in the dumps, but I think positive affirmation is maybe even more dangerous in some senses. So um, I think just blocking out all noise and kind of keeping it within the people of this building um, is really what was going to take us to the next level. I know it was in a loss, but what impressed you about how Will responded on the road and handled that environment? Yeah, I think uh, he, played, he played a great game. Um, he was able to kind of get the offense settled in and obviously it was a very loud environment uh, probably louder than we anticipated so um, but you know I think our confidence in Will is extremely high and he shows why he's you know a top caliber quarterback and his seniority really shined through in that game. You had 10 two catches on 10 targets so what about the chemistry between the two of you is clicking right now? Um, I think just that trust level we do it every day um, out here in practice we just had a great day today and he's finding me on the field I'm getting open for him so I think having that uh, that trust in one another helps us on Saturdays. And then plus for one for me, it, you, you mentioned about how the DBs have kind of, they responded the, the right way to, to the struggles against Oregon. How do they show that in practice? Yeah, I think that just their demeanor coming out to practice in a sense, um, being very intentional about intentional about the things that they do, the way that they practice, um, getting better with, with each and every snap. Um, because even if our DBs would have went out there um, in, in Oregon and had you know held all the receivers to zero yards, they would still have that same demeanor um, coming into practice every single day. So uh, we have a lot of men you know, in the DB room who don't really hang their hat on football. Um, obviously, we're all very passionate about the game, but um, they're they're very grounded in their faith, and uh, they know that one game doesn't define them. So just having that confidence in yourself, and then we just try to um, you know make sure they know that we're confident in them as well. What's impressed you about the way Jeremiah has strong start to the season? It's been really consistent for a freshman week, and we've got just like a one or two week thing that's been going on. What's what's allowed him to do that? What's impressed you about? It? I think just the way he practices, um, there's never a wasted rep with Jeremiah. So I think that everything that you see on Saturday is something he's already done in practice. Um, and I think that's a, a key to being a great player here at Ohio State. And just in general, being a great player, you have to have great practice habits. So that's something that he definitely has. And um, a lot of people have to learn that at a young age, but he kind of naturally came in with it. So I'm excited to see how his, uh, seen, uh, how his season continues. People talked about Marvin's work ethic. How does his work ethic um, yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm not huge on comparing guys because, you know, they have their own identities, they have their own things, but uh, Jeremiah certainly has, has amazing work ethic and, you know, you're able to see the fruits of that on Saturdays. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. God bless.